Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us. Today's video is about ScreenFlow, made by Telestream. ScreenFlow is a fantastic application for screen recording, throwing media in. Um, Soldier Knows Best uses it. A lot of people watch his videos. He's been using it forever. It's a really neat, classy way of displaying all kinds of content, both audio and video, and compiling all that into a, a, um, into a video. So it's only Mac, unfortunately, but it is very, very, very nice. You can buy it for $100 from telestream.net slash screen dash flow. You can try it for free or upgrade from an older version to the newest 2.1 for 30 bucks. So it's not that bad. Uh, I'll go ahead and open it now. Now I can't record and, um, and show you the application. So I'm using QuickTime 10 or QuickTime X to... Why is that recording? QuickTime X to record the screen, and I'm using. Um, I will be opening ScreenFlow once I stop the previous recording. So here it is. You can record your desktop from your Color LCD, which on my machine happens to be the MacBook Pro, and then I have the Asus VH232H monitor plugged in. Well, we'll use that for the purpose of this video. You can also record video from your eyesight. Turn the MacBook Pro over. There I am. Hi. Um, you can change your camera. I don't have any others plugged in. Um, audio, same deal. You can uh, either not record audio or change your input here, as well as computer audio. So if you're playing a song in iTunes, you select that box, hit record, it's going to bring that sound right in from iTunes into your video, which is quite nice. So we'll do a little sample here. It's going to do a little 54321 for us. That's adjustable. You can turn that off. And now uh, there's two screen recording programs running, which is really going to take some power actually on the Mac. Um, pretty simple. It's just going to record everything going on in your screen. If you want to stop, you come up here, see this picture of a camera, you right click, and then you click on stop record, which is nice. Now, here is the main application itself. In the bottom left, the first thing we're going to start easy, um, you see your tracks. If you have multiple different video cameras or audio feeds, you're going to see more of these things. This here, if I were to delete that, that's my audio track. Now that's gone. Command Z is going to bring that back. This is my video track. Delete that. That's gone. Command Z will bring that back as well. You can move these around as you normally would. If you uh, wanted to make the scale smaller, notice down here you can adjust that. Your time. This is this is just a timeline. Drag your thing around here. You'll be able to see it. Um, I didn't open anything, so you can't really see there. Um, let's say you want to cut it in half. You drag your time marker piece to the middle. You right hand click the, the uh, clip you want to cut in half and then split clip at playhead. And then that's going to make two different pieces out of it. Notice I can drag this one over here, do the same thing with this, drag it over here. And uh, if I wanted to put some pictures in there, over on the right we have this extensive uh, list of options and features here. We'll go over all the way to the right, which is add external media. We'll click the add media button. We'll go into my California folder. Maybe not, so these are all screenshots. Um, how about one of my wallpapers here? A Mac wallpaper, there it is. We'll drag that down here. Let's drag it on there. And now we have the video that I made. Goes into the Mac wallpaper for about five, 10 seconds, and then goes into the rest of that video. Now, if I wanted to put that um, Mac wallpaper on top of those other two, kind of drag those back together since I split them, put that in the middle, and then we'll go back over to the main set of options over here on the right, which is that picture of the video. You can adjust your scale, that'll change the size, your opacity, that'll that'll change, uh, well, obviously how opaque it is. Reflection, reflection's really cool. Um, that'll make, I do that a lot in my videos, that'll make a reflection below it, it's kind of apple-y, Soldier Knows Best uses that can do your shadow, adjust the angle, offset, and color, which is nice. And then you have your saturation, brightness, and contrast, which I never touch, but um, might be kind of cool if you're looking for something like that. Um, so that's pretty standard. Now, if you switch to your audio track here, go to the audio tab, you really can just, uh, you can do ducking, you can add effects and, um, and how strong they are, and then your volume control, of course. The next one is screen recording properties. I 
I don't think I've ever touched this before. You can show the mouse pointer. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't want that. You can change the pointer. Maybe it's a little easier to find. Sound on click, keyboard, show the keys pressed. Kind of cool. Um, I've never really used that. Uh, call outs, you can do call outs. If you don't know what that is, uh, you probably shouldn't be using this because that's a pretty good video term um, as far as editing. The T is going to be your text down on the bottom. You click add text box. That's going to make another track here. Why don't we put that at the same time the apple is on. And this stuff kind of snaps into place. So you don't really have to zoom in on it real far on the timeline to get them to line up. It just snaps into place. So then it says text. Uh, we'll switch back to that clip. And um, we'll make it say Mac. And then we'll move it down here. So then you see that you get these yellow lines, which will help you line it up. So that's why it always looks so good, because it's always lined up. Anyways, really cool software. I really like it. it. Does a great job of editing video. You can add another recording too. So if you forget something, like I do a lot of the time, you can just come in here, record computer audio, you know, do the same thing as you did before and make another recording. Um, I should touch on angles. People have asked me how I do the angles before. Select the picture or video source, whatever you have that you want to put an angle. It's selected, and then you're going to see your X, Y, and Z rotation. We'll do a Y rotation of 20, not 230, of 20 degrees. If I can do this right. Bring that over here. You can use your scroll thing to make it smaller. Uh, I don't think you can do that with text, but maybe you can. Yep, you can. So that's just cool. You can bring in all your tracks, line them up. Um, everything down here is adjustable for size. Just a great program. I think it's worth the money. It's relatively easy to use. It takes took me a little bit because I'm so used to iMovie, and this is just a little bit more complicated than iMovie, but not so much. So love it. ScreenFlow by Telestream. Definitely worth it if you're on a Mac. Really nice video effects. Um, like you can bring your bring your desktop out like that put a real nice reflection on it. Let's do a Y rotation of negative, uh, negative 30 degrees. And how about an X rotation of 10 degrees? And Z rotation, I don't really, need, oh, okay. That's how you do that. <laughs> I don't know why you'd wanna make it look like that, but you can, so there you go. Anyways, enjoy it. Telestream, ScreenFlow, great application. And uh, it's pretty easy to export too. You just go up to File, Export, you can publish it to Flash or YouTube, save it as a recording. Um, most of the stuff you can either do from up here in the action bar or from over here. I just like to do it over there. And uh, it does MOV files. They're relatively um, nicely compressed, but of course that um, depends on your screen resolution and bitrate. So thanks for watching the video. Our website, techinform.us. My personal Twitter, if you're interested, is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then we do host our live web shows every Tuesday night between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like them, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's. Bye-bye.